Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. I want to talk about our suspiciousness. Our suspiciousness of our spouse, or our children, our boss, banking, politics. You know, the way society is moving right now, we've got to a place where it's pretty rare where we find anyone who trusts anyone else. This is a tragedy because as human beings, at one point we used to help each other. We used to take care of each other. We used to even watch out for each other's kids. We're entering this time now where it's like every man for himself. Just take care of yourself and keep from worrying about anyone else. Just take care of you. You know, as we become selfish like that, we're going to lose our humanity. I don't know how you look at it. But I see this every day in road rage, people in the shopping centers that are rude to each other. Very rarely you see someone let someone cut in line now because everybody seems to be in a hurry. And I think the reason we're in a hurry and our suspiciousness comes from our feelings of lack of control. You know, it's true the government's regulating us more. World is being regulated more. We're coming into what many say is gonna be a one world government, one currency. And we feel like we haven't got anything to say about any of it. The thing we have to really realize is we have a lot to say about what goes on inside of our mind, which creates our life. And as we find ourselves becoming very angry, this is coming out in road rage, rudeness, being mean to another person, revenge, lawsuits, getting even. And I can tell you right now, that's not going to work. It creates bad karma, or bad mojo, or bad vibes. You have to take a look at your own life and what you can do today to still be kind to other people and have a good intention when you meet someone. I know so many couples right now that are battling with each other and when you get right down to it, you can't really pinpoint what's really going on. And sometimes they don't even know what's going on, yet you see them strive and struggle to heal it, yet they can't. A lot of it's this feeling of out of control, this suspiciousness, this feeling of being exhausted mentally and emotionally from having to deal with another person. So people have a tendency to retreat and become one with their self. We could call it a form of depression, but I think it is societal domination of a certain influence on each one of us that makes us feel out of control. A lot of our road rage, a lot of our rudeness towards other people is that feeling of being out of control and we're mad about it. I remember that movie years ago, a character called Howard Beale in Network. He yelled out the window and said, I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore. And I feel a lot of us are kind of getting there. If you're getting there, realize there's really a lot of control for you to control you. And it sometimes takes a lot. But you've got to do it. You've got to focus on the goodness in life, the goodness in you, the goodness in your family. And you've also got to spread that goodness to other people. It's time to really solve some problems with other people. Make up. Say you're sorry. Allow them to say the same thing to you. I find many old friends are arguing and bickering at each other now that have been friends for years. They call it end times. Well, it could be. I know this. We've got to save our souls, and the way we do that is to be nice, make up, make things right, and above all, get out of your own selfishness and your own suspicions about other people, and just do the right thing. Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary, looking forward to seeing you on the tune-up. Bye-bye.